It's time for your community connection, powered by Jurek Subs with Jody Tosti. Thanks for joining us this morning on Community Connection. Andrew Richard is in the studio with me today. He's the president of the North Country Habitat for Humanity. Thanks for coming in today. No problem. Tell folks if they don't already know what Habitat for Humanity is. Habitat for Humanity is an organization that was started by former President Jimmy Carter back in the 70s. And the whole goal of Habitat for Humanity is affordable housing. So our mission is to look at families that may not be in an ideal housing situation, maybe an apartment that's too small or a house that's just not right for them and get them into something that is good for them, is good structurally and create that home environment for them. But really what we're looking for is average middle class working family. We like to say it's it's a hand up, not a hand out. There's a lot of misconceptions about habitat that people get free houses they it's not the case at all there's a lot of sweat equity also that goes into it for the potential owner right that's right the average family puts in roughly 500 hours of sweat equity and and that's shared between the actual homeowner and and that particular family but also their family and friends uh, any contributions they make count towards that sweat equity And you also, of course, have a lot of volunteers as well. I know you guys work with Clarkson University. Yep. They are a huge contributor to uh, our volunteer pool. Everything that we do is 100% volunteer. So between our people who are actually on site building to like our board of directors and our committees, we're 100% volunteer. And that's one of our biggest asks most of the time is we're always looking for volunteers. That is something that anybody can do. It doesn't matter if you know how to swing a hammer or not. We don't necessarily just need people to help us build. We provide lunch to our volunteers every time we build. So we're always looking for people who want to, you know, make lunch for 20 people. We're always looking for people that want to be on the administrative side of it as well on our board of directors or even just on a committee. We've got committees that handle a lot of our day to day business, like helping to select the right family, helping to support our current families. Um, So we've got lots of different things that people can get involved with. How can um, people find out about some of the guidelines? Do they have a a website that they could go to? Yeah, it's nchabitatforhumanity.org. And you can also find us on Facebook, too, as North Country Habitat for Humanity. If you like us there, you can see a lot of our updates. Uh, But our website is going to be the best resource to get information both on the volunteer side or if you're a family who thinks you'd be interested in uh, in joining our family in in terms of a house um, you can find some of the guidelines um, and you can find an application online now you have a project that you guys are working on uh, currently in malone that's right we are currently working in malone this house that we're doing right now is is a rehabilitation it's actually the third rehab we've done We do a combination of building brand new houses, but the last couple of years, we've been very, very grateful that Franklin County has donated several properties to us, and they've all had very good bones. Uh, They need a lot of cosmetic work, but we were able to kind of make it into a good home, and you know we can kind of make it how the family wants it to be, but we've been very, very grateful that uh, the community really steps up to help us out. Is that home already spoken for? And we family, we do. Or? Yep. Um, there is currently uh, a family that has been selected for it. They've been on site building with us right alongside of us. So you know, we're always looking ahead. Though we're always looking to have that next family lined up for when we start our next build. How long does it traditionally take to complete a project, or does it just vary? It depends on the project. When we do a stick built house from scratch, that typically takes less time. Because everything kind of goes, dare I say, smoothly most of the time versus a a rehab like the last couple we've done where there's there's a lot of prep work to be done before any of the actual building starts. There's a lot of the little details that, you know, we we like to, especially if they're older homes, we like to try to preserve some of the character of the house, so to speak. Um, So that takes a little bit more time. But typically the houses are roughly a two year project. And it's amazing that you're able to continue all these years on a volunteer basis, essentially. It's definitely a struggle for us. It's a very fluid thing. We only build one day a week. 
Um, we only build on Saturdays. You know, this this kind of organization is interesting to be a part of because the same thing with the volunteers, but like on the money side of it, you know, we're, we're completely um, funded by donations. Um, when it rains, it pours, but when it's dry, it's dry. Uh, you know, and, and there are times where um, we will be looking saying, you know, how are we going to put a roof on this house? Uh, it, we don't have any money. And, and it, it, ha- it just happens, you know. Um, it, it works in mysterious ways. Andrew Richard from North Country Habitat for Humanity. Thanks for coming in. You're very welcome. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow on Community Connection.